Auburn could actually uh, put on a clinic in this game, Georgia at Auburn. They could put on a clinic to show players how to travel. I mean, they're just constantly traveling in the game, and all three officials are either don't know the rule, don't care if they travel, or their eyes are slower than the player's feet. And trust me, the last one is not accurate. So here's a player receiving the ball out in the middle of the court, coming from the trail official toward the center official. So he receives the pass with one, f and he catches it actually with both feet off the floor and he lands on the right foot first. So by rule, that is the pivot foot. So, but he's gonna bring the other foot down and he's gonna pick up the pivot foot. He's still legal. But if that pivot foot comes back down while still holding the ball, it's a traveling violation. Well, he even does even worse than that. Makes it so much easier for us to get right. He when he picked up the pivot foot, he just jumped up in the air and got both feet moving again so he could square up, changed pivot foot, and now he's squared up. J.D. Collins talked about this squaring up, moving the feet illegally. It's wrong. It's a violation. We can't let players do this. Now, if Auburn scores on this possession that's another two points that they get after a traveling violation now we're 17 minutes to go in the ball game I've, I've watched every moment of the game we got really good hustle position here from the trail getting a good look the center official is getting a good look and with these 20, nearly 23 minutes that have gone by in the ball game, I have not seen one single closely guarded count while A1 is holding the ball. Not one. He could touch him on the head. Now, now we're down to about two feet. Still no count. No count. It's measured. And then he picks up the pivot foot and travels again. So this guy has racked up about three or four traveling violations here, and we're allowing that to be legal activity. That should be, that's just, that's just unacceptable. Now he's driving to the basket. He beat the defender. Well, let me tell you something. It's very easy to beat a defender if you don't have to play legally. I'm just finishing this to see if they score, actually. I don't believe he's going to score on that. And somehow he did. So there's two more points. For Auburn in this ball game that's 13 points of their 60 that have been scored following a traveling violation